Hello, hello, hello. What's new with you, my very blue crew? So, yes, today is a little bit of a special day here. We got some music coming in. Hot! That has been in, the, been in development for quite a while. Uh, <laughs> but I think that my boy, Funk Fiction, has hit it out of the park on this. And I am ready to just let it rip. <laughs> I will disappear from the screen for the duration of the track. Let you guys just listen. I won't even comment on it. I'm going to mute my mic. I'm just going to let it play out. And we'll start. <gasps> Sorry. Ooh. I will just let it start. Okay? All right. We're just going to go right now. So. Stop this. Okay. go it loops seamlessly 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 and <clears throat> yes I agree with you Dark Riku <laughs> it is fantastic for uh, just putting on and doing work I feel like that is <gasps> oh my stomach my stomach is acting up tonight my stummy um, I feel like I have Put this track on for hours at this point as I like toil away on other behind the scenes VTuber duties. Um, even even at work, like doing work things. Uh, yeah, it's it's a mood, man. It's a mood. I don't know. It, it, it's got that. It's got something to it that just. I I really wanted him to focus, and he's pretty good at uh, Funk Fiction. Is pretty good at this by default. 
but I really wanted it to be a track that does not get old when you loop it and repeat it for hours because we are going to be streaming, you know, us as streamers, we're on for hours at a time. So it's important that the music does not get old, right? Now, on top of this song, there are still two others in development. Right now, we're working on the day theme, which I have not heard yet. I'm not even sure if he started. <laughs> but it is there there will be a you know a playlist of sorts that i can swap between uh whenever the mood so so dictates and of course you know there will still be some streams like for example personally on this week's upcoming uh hand cam stream i don't believe that i'm going to be like using this song in the background of it right i think the hand cam stream deserves deserve something a little bit more innocent sounding kind of playful sounding this is like a cool music this is cool music when we're just talking here but for the hand cam you know i still might use another song but it's all that's the beauty of this you know we can i can use these songs as i as i please when i feel like even in videos which i want to mention to you guys uh i am sorry to anybody who heard me before say like oh uh, I want to, you know, drastically pivot towards making videos and forego the streaming aspect and drop it down to once a week. I, and then, and then this week, right, I have like four streams planned. So to some people, they're probably thinking like, what the hell, Blue? What are you doing? <laughs> and I, I just want to, to preface that like, sometimes I guess I speak a little too freely <laughs> on what's on my mind before, uh, before thinking through. Um, so I get swept away on ideas very quickly. And I just, you know, I, I just I just speak what's on my mind at the time. And maybe I throw things, oops, how did that happen? Whoa, space bar. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just speak what's on my mind a little bit too, like literally and in the moment. And I'm hoping to, uh, to sort of just change that going forward. If there's any changes, on this channel, I will like preface them by saying like, I'm thinking about, not that I am doing, but just that I'm thinking about doing these new things, right? So yes, the streaming is safe on this channel for now. Okay, that's what I wanted to let you guys know. The streaming is safe, <laughs> but I will be using, uh, yeah, songs like this in, the, in any future video uploads I do that I think might fit, uh, maybe more like documentary style or, uh, informative, tutorial like, who knows, you know? Every single song is gonna have a different genre and a different vibe. And it's a funny thing about Funk Fiction, YouTube recommended me his Sonic album today while working. His, I was telling him this, his Sonic and Chill album has been getting a lot of, of traction. I'm super happy for him, man. That album like took so much work. You can tell like the love and care. Uh, he even included like some, uh, a song or two of his old stuff. Uh, within that album like from years back it's not all things that he immediately worked on so it's like a huge uh, compilation album it's beautiful to listen from like start to finish uh, you can look it up Sonic and Chill Funk Fiction or Sonic and Chill album um, I think there's two uploads there's one on his channel and there's also one on Game Chops Game Chops' uh, channel they're sort of like a label for, uh, for re uh, game remixers and stuff but yeah, man. Windows, <laughs> Windows, ah, music. Hey, I, <laughs> I love the different responses that this song has elicited so far. It's like some people say it sounds like Valhalla. Um, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it, it's gotten like a few different, uh, e even from, from Funk himself. It's like some people are like, oh, it, reminds, it makes me think of this while I was composing it. And to me, when I hear it and he was showing me, it's like, well, it makes me think of this. And sometimes they align, sometimes they're totally different. That's the beauty of music, you know? It's the beauty of music. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Hmm. Ah, and speaking of what you were just saying, Barry, about the Sonic album. So you notice that I didn't bring up 
so I have a thing here, right? Where I can bring up, like, if there's a song playing, I have a lower thirds effect, what they call a lower thirds effect on television, which looks like this, right? You guys have always seen it for whatever music I use on the channel. I like to credit who I use. But you notice there was... There wasn't one that came on when I started playing this song to you guys. That's because this song is still a work... Uh, the, the title is a working title. We're, we're still trying to figure it out behind the scenes. If you guys have any suggestions for what you might, you know, think could be a fitting so, uh, a fitting name for this song, you know, feel free to drop it in chat right now. I'll read it. I'll think about it. Me and Funk right now are just, we're spitballing ideas to each other. Uh, we're thinking like it has to do with the city. This city behind me right here, that's the primary focus of it. It's not as much the cafe right now. It's like the, the, the focus of the song is more on the view and the city. <laughs> We're on that cable TV out here. You guys are. You guys are. You see the effects as I transition? You see the, you see the, what we call a, uh, what we call a bug in the bottom right down there, huh? You see that? You see the, the scrolling, uh, the, the ticker? You know, the thing that, the thing that moves up on the side here? I mean, normally it goes along the bottom, but <laughs> I like to stylize it by having it go up on the top. Because there was quite a bit of, uh, I suppose, like, Wipeout? Uh, you guys you guys know the video game series Wipeout, right? I don't know why, but there was something, there, there's a little bit of a, a Wipeout aesthetic that I was trying to go for with this channel when designing it as well. Just anything that was, like, very Y2K. Anything that was very Y2K. Even the, the desk, I think I've already mentioned here, live, that this desk looks the way it does because I, I purposely made it look crunchy, right? It purposely looks crunchy, like like a like a 90s point-and-click adventure game, like Freddy Fish or something. You know, it's purposely like the way this coffee cup looks to my to my left here, with the with the the, the dotted smoke and everything, and the the way the trophy like the colors dither and go all all weird. That's on purpose, right? <laughs> Wipeout is one of your favorite franchises ever. Its death pains me every day. Did it? Did it really die though? Did it really die though? They released a collection that was super popular and I played it. I think as much as uh, Wipeout is an inspiration for me, it like, when it gets to like the, the mid to late game, it kind of, I don't know. I'm, I get a little bit frustrated by that game. Uh, I prefer like the, the, the hardcore F-Zero racing as opposed to the whole combat racing aspect of Wipeout where you actually have abilities and you're shooting things at each other like missiles and the, that I'm a little bit less into like the Mario Kart style battling. I, I, I like that F-Zero is just you just race. Whoever's fastest wins. If you know shortcuts, you can take those, but there's no like pew, 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 you know, between each other <laughs> or there's no like shaking the ground and stuff. It's Wipeout's unique flair, right? I love that about Wipeout, but it's why I, as much as I'm inspired by it, it's not like my favorite anti-gravity racer. Um, just, I don't know. Yeah, something something about those weapons gets, gets frustrating. The way those AIs use it, it's, it's like hard AI in Mario Kart, man. It's just, they piss you off. It's like they have the right weapon for the right, they have the right tool for the right time. Every single time. <laughs> Death by fading into obscurity. Yeah, I guess so. I think everyone remembers that franchise fondly, but they don't like play it these days. I don't know anybody that's actively like on Wipeout <laughs> or picks it up unless like PlayStation happens to offer it as like a PlayStation Plus kind of thing uh, for free. That tends to be how old games get popularity again. Um, you still play it every now and then? I should. I personally, I should play it every now and again, now and then. I should play it on this channel at some point. Honestly, a lot of anti-gravity racers I want to play on this channel. Oh, but what I was going to, I think, say... Oh yeah, Ballistic NG for sure. Yeah, that's in my library, Barry. You you made me... I think you you had me buy that. You you introduced that to me. I had no idea what it was until you told me. Um, but the other thing worth mentioning is the... Yeah, there there's no title for the song, right? As I was mentioning before. The, t the title for this background song is a work in progress. But there's also artwork, okay? When these songs are all finalized, they will be uploaded to YouTube at some point. They will be uploaded to Spotify at some point. Possibly even to Bandcamp, I don't know, for you guys to buy. Like, I, I don't know, you know, the, 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 the details of it quite yet. But 
they will have a visual to go along with them, okay? For the album art, for the video upload, they will have a visual. And I'm currently working with the, well, I guess, I guess I can at least say this, right? I'm currently working with the visual artist who made the Sonic and Chill background art for the artwork for these songs. So you can expect that Sonic and Chill 3D animation, glistening, good lighting, uh, pretty visuals type of style with something that you see behind me as the visuals. So we'll see how it pans out. You know, we're working on it behind the scenes. Oh, Maki, welcome. Finally, for some odd reason, you couldn't type in chat. Just wanted to say, have a good stream. Can't stay for it. Good luck catching up with all those Yakuza games. You just finished eight. Bro, I've, I've been thinking. Um, <laughs> so Yakuza 4 is already pretty long, right? And 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 I, I feel that, that Yakuza is not a like a super popular franchise for streaming that everyone is always engaged with compared to like my my other things that I stream on this channel like Counter-Strike or um, uh, Pacific Drive or whatever like I, I notice it you know I notice that people have a good time but it's not always like a consistent sort of uh, viewer base throughout the stream right so I'm wondering if in the future I should just sort of play I'm gonna finish four right I'm gonna finish four on stream for sure but for like five, six, uh, even seven, uh, the Judgment series, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing like all of those on stream. You know, I may be taking some of them, if not all of them, to offline until it's like the most current Yakuza game that I can get in on, right? Like if a Yakuza Nine comes out, or a Judgment Three comes out, or uh, whatever comes out, uh, those newer Yakuza games I might take to stream. But I'm debating keeping these, like, I don't know if I'm going to go through the whole franchise on stream. It's quite a lot. And I've already, I have seen the numbers for how long 5 is. Okay? <laughs> my, my friend is currently playing through 5. Uh, when I went over to his place to, uh, to play some retro games over the weekend. Uh, he is playing 5. He was showing, me, showing it to me a little bit and how expansive it is. So, we will see. <laughs> But don't don't hold your breath on uh, seeing a Yakuza 5, 6, 7, 8, like all those on stream. I, I may take those offline and you guys will just see like the latest Yakuza to come out on stream whenever the next one comes out. Assuming I'm caught up by then. We we will have to see. Um, speaking of which, yes, when I visited my friend over the weekend, I, um, I ended up buying a Lego, which is why I'm doing a Lego stream this week. Despite saying earlier that I'm pivoting more towards videos, I said, no, 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 no. I want to do a hand cam stream. I, I have the setup for it. I can do it. I can do it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anywho, I will stop yapping. I will stop yapping uh, and go right into the video game. So let's head on over. Oh. All right. Whoa! Ah, my ears. Yo. My ears, bro. <laughs> this intro music is so loud. Can it chill out? Jeez. Oh my goodness gracious. So. Last time we left off here, we were here in prison, playing as Saejima, the man who assassinated like 18 people in a ramen restaurant 25 years ago and has been paying for it in prison since. He's been away, he's been locked up for like 20 years, and then he realizes from this man over here that everything he did for the family back then was for naught. So my man Saijima here has been rotting away in prison for practically no reason. And so it looks like we're about to enter a prison break situation where he's trying to get out. Now I just need to figure out how we get out. Alright, this guy's talking about a smoke. Yeah, yeah. 
this guy over here, who we're supposed to chat with, is going to make us the makeshift grapple hook that we're going to use to try and escape. Mm hmm. I made a name for myself on these islands as well. Let's just say I'm a craftsman of sorts. Or at least I was until I got thrown in here. It's a regular old citizen. Yeah, why why is this guy in here, huh? He's just a craftsman. I suppose I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was minding my own business, doing business with some fine gentlemen who turned out to be Yakuza. When the police showed up for them, they took me into oof. Guilty by affiliation, huh? Once they started looking into my livelihood, though, they figured out I was involved in some less than legal activities. Oof. Folks in my line of work calls those, call those crimes. What kind are we talking? Well, made, modded, bought, and sold all kinds of deadly weapons. <laughs> Never hurt a soul, not directly, just, just funded it. Yeah, just, just was, you know, kind of indirectly responsible. For sure, for sure. Yeah, but you're going to need to make a grappling hook for me. Think you can manage that? Anything's possible, as long as I have the materials. May I ask why? Hmm. He's not gonna tell. Yeah. He just needs an especially sturdy one that'll hold a person or two. Mm-hmm. Well, alright, no more questions from me then. Just bring me a nice, thick chain and a grappling hook should be a cinch. Fortunately for you, I saw one of the inmates swinging one around the other day. Oh yeah? Just try to keep things civil, okay? The guards would be on you in a flash if you start trouble. Right. Okay. So some guys around here have some, uh... What is this in the ground? A mugwort. Ew. What the hell is a mugwort? Yes, I guess? I got a mugwort. Mmm. Can I eat it? Ha <laughs> ha. For some reason, I thought mugwort was more like a worm or something. <laughs> it's just a grass that grows naturally in Japan, often served mix into sticky rice cakes. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good. Yummy. That little bit of health. That little bit of health. Alright, let's see. Who has the chains, huh? Who actually has the chains? Uh, the least they could do is feed us some Okinawa delicacies. Stewed pork, rafute, raf rafute, hell, I'd even meet bitter melon before the cardboard they serve us. Hey, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Only one? Gotta be pork cutlet curry. Bro, this guy is on, this guy is on my mindset right now. I would say the same exact thing. I would say the same exact thing. I love, like... Tonkatsu or pork cutlet. Oh, oh man, it's my, my favorite. My favorite thing from Japan. It's so simple, but it's like such a, it's a, what do, what do they call them? Um, it's like a heart food, a homey food. Uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a word for it. A soul food. That's the word. A soul food. Yeah, it's like a soul food to me. Pork cutlet curry. Man. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. That sounds good right now. <laughs> a nice thick cut of succulent pork, a mountain of steaming rice, all drowning in rich, kind of sweet curry. Ugh, I gotta get out of here. Not to rub salt in the wound, but did you know pork goes best with sweeter curries a hint of sweet cuts through that rich pork like nothing else man Ooh. <laughs> i love stirring the rice and curry together scarfing down a big spoonful then taking a quick bite of the pork so they all mix in my mouth piss the missus off to high heaven <laughs> just hearing you talk about it is making my mouth water Nothing to do now but reminisce about my dine and dash days. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Who's this guy? What about him? Keep your guard up around him. Word is he's real jumpy. The whole damn prison's after him. After all of us. 
It's no wonder he started hoarding up body armor like there's no tomorrow. What? What? Who was that? Who's talking in the corner? Is it this guy? I think it's this guy over here. This group. How'd you get that awesome chain, Kataoka-san? I'm jealous as all hell. Oh, he's this guy. This guy's got the chain. Remember when I was doing construction on the new cell block? I nicked it from there. No problem. Shit, I gotta get me one of those construction jobs. I could use myself a nice new weapon. Chain, huh? Looks like I found my man. Mm, okay. Hey, buddy. I could use that chain. You there. I hear you got yourself a chain. What's it to you? Mind letting me borrow it? Oh, we got a, we got ourselves a joker here, boys. Weapons are the only thing that keep you alive in this hellhole. Not a chance I'm lending mine to the first little shit that comes strolling up to me. <gasps> Sorry, but I need that chain real bad. If you ain't gonna lend it to me, I'm just gonna have to clobber ya. Real dialogue? Alright, buddy. Better get this done before the guards come. Oh, shoot! Ooh! Ooh, damn, the knee is so powerful. Get off me! And you! Ooh. Night, night. Ooh. Dude, this guy is so... It feels like I'm playing a fighting game character. How long is the prison arc? I think it's probably pretty quick. I imagine, like, your, your goal is to get out of this prison by tonight. Like, in-game tonight. So, who knows? <laughs> he named it Prison Break, but surely we won't be in jail for a long time. Yeah, I don't think so. Because the cutscene last stream was telling me that, like, they were planning in-game tonight to break out of prison. That's why I'm just getting this grapple hook. <laughs> yeah, no, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And by the way, welcome, Jerry. I don't know if I, like, said hi earlier when I was yapping for 25 minutes. <laughs> it's cool that you were, uh, you were doing the dual stream earlier. For those who are watching, uh, Jerry was doing her first, like, dual, vertic- horizontal, like, streaming horizontal, but also streaming vertically in, like, a separate stream at the same time. Just to, like, test the waters and see how it works out. <laughs> and see that, like, you know, her computer or connection don't crash in the process. And it actually- it went very smooth. At least- at least from the viewer perspective, it went very smooth. Yeah, no. See, uh, and 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 from your example, like it went smooth on your part. But for me personally, I I I think that I would like the I, I liked what you were doing with the like the vertical streams and stuff, where I would have it. Uh, yeah, I, I like the chat funneled in, funneled into one area. That was sort of my complaint about Twitch to begin with, was that they don't want you integrating YouTube chat into your Twitch chat uh, for the on-screen visual. So. I, I, I have a thing. I'm very, like, staunchly for, like, the integrated chat. Like, I want everybody in one chat room for me to read kind of thing. Not have this, like, separate, like, oh, he said this, she said that, and I got to look at a, at separate windows. So, yeah, I, I will definitely be following your footsteps at some point and trying out that vertical stream. But it was still fascinating to see the dual stream. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you keep both of them up or did you end up unlisting the vertical stream? and keeping the horizontal stream up. Oh, okay, so I got the chain. Now I need the hook, which we got to get a pitchfork. One of the, the guys on farm duty might have something you can use. Oh, okay, okay. A pitchfork or even a hoe. Mm. <laughs> you kept both up. The vertical stream had more views. Ah, I think I saw, interestingly enough, if you don't mind me bringing up the, the stats that I saw you posting in your Discord, um, I think the vertical stream had more views, but the horizontal had more, like, peak uh, concurrent viewership. Was that correct? I'm not, I'm not, don't, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I saw, which was interesting to see, like, huh, the vertical had more viewership, but concurrent 
uh, viewers weren't weren't the same. It wasn't like oh more views and more concurrence. It was like a flip flop. Another mugwort. Mmm. Yummy. More parsley. More cilantro. Mmm. The real trick is about. Uh huh. See that guy smoking? You think you got a cig? Okay. So, does this guy smoking. He seems kind of relevant in some way. So what are you in for? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. What about this guy? Mm -hmm. Alright. It sounds like a bunch of a bunch of NPCs talking about their hard life and behind bars. I'm looking for the guy that's gonna give me the hoe. The guy that's gonna give me the the pitchfork. Mm, this guy's just talking about history again. He's giving me a history lesson, man. I left school way long ago. What about you? What do you want, inmate? Just a drink of water. Mind letting me through? Ooh. I can exit into the area next door. But what is the purpose? But what is the purpose? No purpose. Alright, let me back in. Thank you. What a kind guard. You just gotta go in a, a 360 circle. Talking to everybody about... These are, are they, is this the same dialogue? Yeah, it's the same dialogue. <laughs> About pork curry, pork cutlet. I gotta talk to the right person who's gonna have a... Need something tough guy if you're looking for trouble, take a look somewhere else. And step your beefy ass back, we don't want anything to do with you. Okay, alright, alright, alright. How about this guy? You gotta smoke? Oh, a cigarette's the best way to make friends in here. If you don't have them, we'll watch your back. Huh. So people barter with cigs a lot, huh? Let me know when you got the rope and the grappling hook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know that he has a cig, but like... Who's the guy I gotta talk to to get a... Hmm... Oh, maybe I gotta talk to, like, this guy specifically? Or this guy specifically? Oh, see? See, see, see? <laughs> Where's the prison karaoke room? Welcome, Kagi. <laughs> it's n Unfortunately, it's not here. Unfortunately, it is not here. <laughs> hmm... Oh, but you know what, Kagi? Since uh, since you're here, and you joined after the the period of which I was showing off the, I got a I got some new music commissioned for the channel, and here it is in the background. I'll put I'll put it up a little bit so you can hear while I'm talking to people and there's nothing actually going on. I'll let it run for like a yeah a couple minutes here. Looks like this guy's the farmer. Hmm. Okay, I gotta bring this guy a smoke, and he'll think about handing me the pitchfork, as expected. <laughs> See, I love that everyone has a different opinion on the song. That's awesome. Yeah, and this is like the night theme. This is the nighttime theme, specifically for the night. 
So there will be a daytime theme and a sunset theme being made later on. But this is the first of three tracks. It has like an old, you're saying it has an old school PS2 racing game funk vibe. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> to me, there's so many different, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a, like, a, you guys, if you ever commission music and you like really care about this song and, and the music and everything, like, it's a fascinating process putting a document together that explains everything. Uh, like the vibes that you want the song to have, the general energy, uh, just kind of making it cohesive for the composer. Because communication is honestly one of the most important things to getting your channel looking to like a, a, the degree that you want it. You know? To the degree that you want it. Definitely a cruising through Tokyo at night and you're 94 RX-7 for real, dude. Some real sad boy hour type music, type beats. <laughs> cruising along the Tokyo Expressway. Imagine me commissioning music. Oh my god, Oricorn. Uh, <laughs> By the way, guys, Oricorn here does make his own music. If you would like to check out his stuff. <laughs> he recently released a song for the first time in forever. It's been a long time coming. Communication is important, Com says the communications major. Yes, correct. <laughs> Communication is huge. It is huge. I think a lot of people are, are too, uh, they, they commission things and they're too scared to be like, eh, this isn't what I was expecting. Or like, eh, I think this could be changed. They're very like, yes men when they, commu when they commission things. And the artist might not give them exactly what they want, but they don't voice that concern during the process, right? Now, there are some artists who only allow you to, and I'll duck the music a little bit. There are only some, there are some artists who will only allow changes up to a certain stage in the project. And then you're kind of like locked in, but you gotta, you gotta let them know. Um, you gotta just let them know, you know, what, what you're feeling on it, what you're feeling on it and how things can be changed. You honestly don't know what to look for in music. So it would be hard. Yeah, it's. I don't, I don't know how I would feel um, when like commissioning somebody else. I, I, I think it, I don't know. I think me, me and me and Funk Fiction just kind of like locked, gelled really easily. Um, so it made the communication like a lot easier. Like he, I, I didn't really need to like correct him at all on this, on this project. We, we were so like in tune. He sent it to me and I'm like, bro, you blew it out of the water, like off the rip on the on the rough draft. <laughs> he sent me like one section of the song. He gave me two, two drafts of the music, right? So he gave me one part that was like more this part that you're hearing right now, where it goes a little bit more like deeper dub was a separate sketch. And then he made me like uh, the one earlier that sounds a little bit more like whimsical and city lights like. So he was like, do you prefer this one or prefer that one? And I told him like, well, why not put both of them in the same song? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can give it some movement. So like it move, it feels like it's moving from section to section instead of just like kind of droning on and on. So uh, yeah, there, I guess there is some, some knowledge of, of music involved, but it's, <laughs> I don't know. Had I, had I commissioned somebody else there, there, it might've been like a little bit more like strenuous of a process. There might've been a lot more back and forth. And it could have been more frustrating, but that's why uh, you got to find people that you think like you you enjoy their art, you think you will get along with. Um, you got to find the right people. Be patient with this stuff. Don't ever feel like you have to rush things uh, just to get it out like now, now, now. Um, always, always sit and wait. For any like prospective VTubers out there, I guess this also goes for um, like commissioning a VTuber model in general. You know, make sure you get the right person, guys. Or you can be like super epic and poggers like Jury here and just make their own, which like, bro, what? <laughs> she she did, she, she drew her own and rigged her own. Like, oh my God, I could never in a million years. That is talent right there. See, we all have different skill points. We all have different skill points and different things. My, my skill points are, I don't even know where they go, but <laughs> hers are different, mine are different. 
but they all even out at the end. We're all t we're all talented in, in our own things, you know. <laughs> or corn. What do you mean? What to look for? It's music. You listen with your ears, not your eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean, though. You know what I mean, though. I'm just talking like in sort of in general, music and art and like anything that you want for a creative endeavor, a creative project. Um, <laughs> this streamer kind of mean. No, okay. I <laughs> I would never do that to a loyal Cerulean. Okay. I just I know Oricorn very well. All right, we're <laughs> we're homies. He know he knows me very well. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what were you saying here? Hold on, let me scroll up, Kagi. If you were a streamer, you'd make your stream music as aggressive and horrific as possible? What? Actually, you are that type of person, Kagi. Yeah, you like the... You would go with your bog monster VTuber model. <laughs> yeah, you were the one telling me, like, an Alan Wake, if you could have a VTuber model, you, you would make him some... some Fat, ugly bastard like Nightingale, the, the first boss that you fight in the game. He's like, you know what? I would make that my VTuber model. And I ask you, like, oh, if I'm ever in voice with you, Kagi, on stream, like, what would you want your little your little bouncing avatar to be? And he just tells me, like, oh, get, give me this, uh, this right here. It's a PNG of, like, some grotesque, grotesque monster. This Kagi guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, you are a mean streamer. <laughs> are you calling me a freak? Yeah, I'm going off tonight. I'm going off tonight on my buddies. I'm going off tonight. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's so funny to me. The the different the different preferences and styles. But even musically, I know Kagi, you're more of like a a, a heavy metal guitarist uh, type of guy. Oh, I can finally talk to the guy that actually is smoking a cig. Hold up. Sorry, I've been like yammering so much. That's me. Hold up. Let me see what he has to say. He's putting his cig away. You didn't waste my time, any time making friends in the cafeteria. Lost my appetite seeing the smackdown you gave those guys. Hmm. Here, you deserve this after- Oh! Wow, he just gave me a cig?! You've probably realized by now, but cigarettes are practically golden here. If you want to loosen someone's lips, all you gotta do is pop a smoke between them. Wow, this guy! He's friendly. He's friendly, he's friendly. And once again, I will tab out. <laughs> The, oh, and you were saying, Jerry, about uh, commissioning, uh, being your, your own mama and your own papa, the headache of all time, bro. Yeah. Uh, if you guys know Fruit uh, from V Shoujo, she also, for a time, was her own... I don't think she was her own papa, but she was her own mama. She did draw her own art for her uh, for her own model until she switched, she swapped over to someone else. Because it is, it's hard. If you ever want to do, like, alternate outfits or... Uh, alternate colors or anything it's 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 a process it's really a process to go through um, I and she that's why she eventually switched over to having like other people do that work for her which totally totally understand you know totally understand <laughs> uh, this is the era of stimulation you're right oricorn you're right Commission, dude, a video idea. I commissioned a hundred artists and ranked them in this tier list. <laughs> I, I, you know that that is kind of a good idea though. I could make a video in which like I talk about just kind of the process of what communication is like and how to like tell people your ideas and I don't know. It's such a it's a very like niche thing, but I I guess that could be something that people are interested in. That that sort of behind the scenes stuff because not everybody commissions people. You know, when do I, when did I ever commission people before this channel? I was like once in a once in a blue moon, man. Once every like three four years for one thing. You know, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, you you would do one or the other, but not both in terms of uh, rigging or or doing the art for your own VTuber model. Yeah, exactly. Like what? But even again, even with fruit, she she gave up after a while. Um, she she wanted to just have other people do both. So. Uh, I will, yeah. The more you can hand off to other people, I guess, in this type of streamer industry, the better. Less work for you, right? Although it does translate to, uh, moolah. But at the same time, your time is money. Guys, you gotta remember that your time is money. 
So even though it's like, oh man, but that's so expensive. Think about it. If you spend like a hundred or even 200 hours of some on something, was it worth like saving the money? If you think about it, like you were, you know, I'm, I'm bad at math, but basically math evens out. You got to look at it hourly, right? Like I, I if I were a, an artist and I paid myself, if I paid myself every single hour that I worked and I made, let's say like 30 or $35, how much would that have evened out to in the end? You know, I don't like I, different fields, different artists, different payment styles, whatever. But you, you just got to like do that, that mental arithmetic in your head and be like, was, was it worth saving that, you know, so-and-so amount of money just for me to spend like 200 hours doing this myself? It's like, I, I don't know. I guess everyone sort of thinks about things differently, but, um, <laughs> uh, you actually can't click Oricorn's name. You realize if you're doing a shout out, you need to link their channel. Yeah. And actually you were, you were kind enough to do that to me, Jerry, uh, way back when I like started. Well, I say, <laughs> I say way back. It was like six weeks ago when I started watching your stuff. So I should. I should, <laughs> I should, um, here, I, I will, you know, I'll, 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 I'll be, a, a good Samaritan here and link the channels. Oh my God. Wait, this is a different Oricorn. Wait, how many Oricorns are there? Okay. Here's, here's Oricorn stuff, guys. This is Oricorn stuff. That's his music. Feel free to check him out. He does. He's, he makes very, very cool. Um, he, he's like this, just one of the smartest guys I know. He makes very like cerebral music, like music that takes a lot of effort <laughs> to make it sound the way it does. There's Oricorn's channel. There's Oricorn's channel. And because Jerry did it for me and I never did it for her. Here is Jerry's stuff. Boom, 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 boom. There is Jury's channel as well. You can check her out. There's a lot of similarities, I think, between the two of us in many different ways. Little things here and there, little things here and there. But I think if you enjoy my content, you would generally enjoy her content too. There's a fair amount of crossover. Hmm. You have some ang oh you explained your own music yourself. You have some angsty aggressive music set to release. <laughs> yeah, definitely Kagi would love it. Kagi would love it. Would love it. Would love it. But you also make like really really cool. Uh, you 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 dip into like jazz chords a lot too. So. Hmm. <laughs> yep, that is in fact his voice mixed in to all that. For real. For real. All those songs you hear, that is his, he's a, he's a big, uh, 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 vocoder type of guy. He likes mixing his, his voice and using it as like a, like a synthesizer instrument in its own right. That's, that's one of his like staples, I would say. <laughs> yeah, it won't, it won't let people send links in my chat. I apologize. I think I disabled that on purpose just in case I ever get like spammed by bots or something. Hmm. Oh, and Pog, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'm like so slow to catching up on chat and I'm not playing the game. If anyone is genuinely watching for the Yakuza, I apologize. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> there's a lot of fun chatter going on here in chat. So I'm make sure, making sure to at least read everybody's message, if, even if I don't uh, respond to everything. Mm, a lot, 20 songs in the bank? Dude, Oricorn, oh my God. All right, guys, stay tuned to Oricorn's channel. He's got, a, he's got 20 songs in the bank. <laughs> oh, Ghost, thank you for popping by. Thank you for popping by. Yeah, I will. I will. We'll see how many people I smack uh, once I'm, you know, out of the out of this this walking around segment that I've been dilly dallying on. <laughs> oh, I got to get him a lighter. Wow, I'm an idiot. I got to get this guy a lighter so he can actually smoke his cigar. I see a new flashing item in the back over there. Oh, so here's where I got to talk to the guard. Let me through the gate. Oh, boom. This should be the lighter, yeah? But you take care, Ghost. You have a great night. 
Oh, you don't even vocode anymore? You just use autotune? Is that true, Oricorn? Oh. Yeah, you used to be so into vocoders. Oh, Pog. Um, speaking of speaking of you and you're here, you're like a you're a, a music. You're looking to go on like a music journey, right? A music making journey of sorts. I think that's what I heard from you recently. Uh, I don't know if he's willing, you know, but Oricorn might be a decent resource for you. I mean, I I'm also a decent resource if you ever want to contact me on this stuff. But Oricorn is like literally, you know, made and released music, so he might be helpful in his own way too, uh, if he's willing to, to you know, <laughs> spare some time and all that to chat about it. But yeah, there's plenty. I also saw um, there is a video that I think you would find handy, Pog, because you were looking to get into 16-bit music. I think I heard. Uh, I can try oh, again. Sorry, I'm pausing the game. There was something in my, um, uh, let's see, it's in my, my watch later, I believe. I added it here. It is a Trackers the Sound of 16-Bit from Ahoy. I will link this in my own chat. I will link it in my own chat here. And you guys can give that a listen right there. I always like to take out the question mark SI from the link, by the way, because th those are like trackers they put in the links to tell where people came from. Personally, I like sending people the link in its like most raw form. That link right there is specifically for Pog. Pog, if you are listening and you would like to learn more about 16-bit and how trackers work, which was something I mentioned to you a couple weeks ago, that video would be fantastic for you. It's long, but it's in depth. It's a little, it's a little intro guide for you. So I hope that helps you out. Mm. It's an hour of music. You listen to it on drives and work or whatever. Ah. But five hour, five of the songs don't make you cringe anymore, so they must be about done. <laughs> Got it. You've taught many students. Oh my god, that's right, Oricorn. You actually like charged. Um, you did charge hourly for teaching people about music. I remember that. Hmm. You have a collab with Replacer where he geeked out on authentic 16-bit sounds for the intro. <gasps> oh my god, that's right, Replacer! Yeah, Replacer. I used to listen to that guy. He was a pretty big, like, synth nerd. Um, Replacer was a... For those that don't know, so I, I used to be, like, a pretty big, um, like, brony guy, I guess. I was kind of in the brony community for a bit there. Uh, Orcorn kind of still is, if you can't tell by his profile picture. But he, he collaborated with Re uh, Replacer, who was like a, I guess what you would call a pony famous musician. Um, and he, yeah, they, they did a little, they did a little thing. So they know each other. Man, I remember Replacer. That's a name I haven't heard in forever. <laughs> All right, so now I got to give this guy the lighter over here. The cigarette and lighter are right here. Hand it over the cigarette, hand it over the lighter. Take these off me, please. Oh, slow down there, big guy. I never said I was gonna give it to you. Just that I think about it. Oh, this asshole. Then think harder. Or do I gotta rattle your brains out? <laughs> Are you seriously threatening me? Me? Man, you're just as dumb as you look. Keep running your mouth if you want. Looks like there's only one way we're settling this. In Smash. We're settling it in Smash. Here, I'll, t I'll turn off the music now that, uh, now that the game got intense. Better get it done before the guards come. Ooh, ha! What are you? Ooh. Oh my god. This guy, like, Saejima is so friggin' satisfying, man. Is he dead already? Alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. Get on the floor. Dude, Saejima, I just, I love his little... Again, <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> Saejima, when he's fighting, he reminds me of, um, of Iori from King of Fighters. He's got that same, like, little Rekka jab string thing he does. Which if Barry or Jeff were here, they would know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> hmm. You made two songs together, might make more someday. You're actually talking to him on Discord about chess as we speak. Whoa, you guys are still in touch? That's crazy. After all this time, you're still in touch. 
You borrowed a hoe. I borrowed a hoe. Oh, we got the hoes lining up here. Now we can make our grappling hook. Okay. Yeah, fix me up that grappling hook, baby. All right, he's going to go to his workshop, fix it up for me. <gasps> Sorry to keep you waiting. One grappling hook just as ordered. No! I don't know what you're planning, and I prefer to keep it that way, but please, don't tell anyone where you got this. Don't worry, I ain't no snitch. Great. Seeing how you seem to do things, I bet wherever you're planning- whatever you're planning is big. I can't wait to find out what it is. Anyway, good luck. What a trooper, this guy. I like him, I like him. He's a good guy, even if he involved himself- He involved himself with the, uh, unscrupulous types. Okay. Now I go back and talk to this guy, whose name I forget. Hamazaki. Nice job getting that grappling hook. Now go hide it under the manhole near the guard tower. We'll grab it again once the plan's in motion. Okay. Let's hide it. Let's hide it. You hid the chain and grappling hook. You guys have talked consistently for years now. Five years now. Wow. Damn, damn, damn. And he's still making music, too. That's awesome to hear that, like, he, he is still around, even if he's not, uh... Or at least if he's not, like, even though he's not on my radar. Which, there's a lot of people that are no longer on my radar. Um, just how life works, you know? But... Oh, I realized I'm not... <laughs> I didn't give Blue the controller. But whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll do it this way for tonight. We'll do it this way for tonight. He's staring at the key. <gasps> the key to get out of his cell. Oh, he's got the guard uniform on underneath. Shireshmas. <laughs> he's in New Zealand, really? New Zealand is crazy. That's like Death Stranding land, isn't it? It looks nuts. Totally different world. Gabe Newell lived there for a time. I'm sure it's lovely. During the COVID era. Oh boy. He's giving the nod. Time to unlock the cell, boys. Oh yeah. Trying to make some noise. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> Saejima. He's loose. Damn. No verbal response. He just stares and starts walking his way down. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. The killer's eyes. The I don't give a fuck eyes. Damn. No verbal responses. The less you say, the more you say. No hole for you this time. We're gonna bash your brains in right here. Oh, they're closing. Oh, locking the door. Not getting out. Okay, okay. It's easier to flatten them all instead of just keeping them busy. 
At least I'll get the key quicker that way. Okay. Oh! The super armor. Whoa! Oh, do I have points? Uh, abilities. I do. Taunt enemy. I don't need to taunt. Stability. Makes it difficult to be knocked down when in heat mode. Yeah, sure. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I guess I gotta unlock this anyways to get Phoenix Spirit. Oh, but I can't unlock it because I only have one orb. Oh, <laughs> pick someone up when they're down. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, there is this the Yakuza franchise has always had heat. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, man. Why the fuck is Kiryu not in, in Tekken? He just literally they have heat in the game now. Like they literally have heat. There's just no excuse. And Virtual Fighter, they brought they tried to bring back Virtual Fighter, but it didn't really like work. You know? It didn't like that didn't work and they realized the franchise is just like not it's not going to revive so they 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 kind of seem to sega seems to have kind of given up on it for the time being so like just instead of saving kiryu for like the inevitable you know virtual fighter one day kind of game like just put him in tekken already man get the most eyes on him or at least at least give me uh give me ichiban you know at least at least give me ichiban but kiryu would be like badass Oh yeah. Whoa. Get off me. <laughs> what? Yo, these guys. Good, 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 good. Okay. Less people, less people. Good. Grab him by the leg. Kick him. Come on. That's awkward. Let's do this again. <laughs> yeah. Gotta borrow your key. Yeah, give me that key. I I need more healing items. I realized like Go on, Sajima. Try and escape. We'll see how far you get. You're not the first who's tried to fly the coop, but guess what? Not a single soul has made it out. Know why that is? Because I've clipped their wings the moment they were dumb enough to try. But go ahead, let's see how far you get. You're still nowhere close. Ooh. Fighting words. Head to the director's office. Oh my god. There's a lot of people here. Oh, Damn. I wish I had more access to more heat moves, yo. Oh. How about you, buddy? Up against the wall? Yeah. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, he dodged! Oh, he's trying to leave, huh? Oh, he's trying to leave. Let me, uh... Oh, I can upgrade more abilities? Nice, good. I want more tech. Or, uh, heat. Heat. Essence of finishing. Perfect. Essence of swinging. Yes! Beautiful. That's what I want. And also heal myself up. <laughs> Alright, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the, the streamer thing and say that if you guys have a off-topic thing you're getting, uh, really deep into conversation about, you can you can take it take it to my Discord or take it to DMs or whatever because I know you guys know each other. <laughs> Try 
charges up my heat a little? I don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> no, that's all good. Oh my god, a quick time event. Oh. <laughs> I was distracted. <laughs> I was distracted. Oof. Ow. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my god, another one. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. I just wanted to bring it up because I do, I do have that automated message in here. You know, if you want to, uh, if you want to get on more off topic in the downtime, you can take it to my Discord. That is, dude. I was mashing X and I didn't get out of his grab. What? More of a checkers person. I like both. Chinese, uh, Chinese checkers is included in that. Chinese checkers is pretty cool. Oh come on. This guy's cheap. I really got it. Like, I can only charge up heat. <gasps> I can only charge up heat. Ooh! Yeah! Beat him over the head. Beat him over the head. Beat him over the head. Teach him a lesson. Yeah! Ooh! This guy's frustrating. Oh! -ho! And I can't even, like, run around to avoid him. The problem with Saijima is he doesn't do good against, like, speedy guys. See? See? Look at this. Look at this. Oh. 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 Boys, we got him in a lock. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't want to be grabbed. Oh, he doesn't want to be grabbed. Ooh. I think I'm actually like nerfing myself when I when I use this stick. I think I'm like I'm just better off barehanding it. Mashing, mashing. He's still gonna fuck it. Did you, did you hear how hard I was mashing? And he's still, bro, my health. Come on, swing. Ooh, 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 not good, not good. Ooh. Yo, this isn't looking too good, guys. This isn't looking too good, guys. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cutscene time. He's low. Look, oh, dude, if I actually died during this, <laughs> where we're jabbing each other, oh, we gotta feel the heat. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Hit the kidney. Give him the rope. <laughs> Ooh. Yo. Thank God that's over. Holy moly. All right. <laughs> I just had to get that out of the way before I looked at chat. That was getting a little a little intense there because one more hit and I was dead. <laughs> the streamer doesn't deserve our viewership. Let's go play chess. No, don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs> I mean, you know, you you, you guys, it's, it's, it's your life. <laughs> Fuck it. It's your life. It's your life. You do whatever you want, guys. Am I going to play Ghost of Tsushima when it drops on PC? Is it not on PC? I thought it was. Uh, I don't know, though, about Ghost of Tsushima. I've heard it's kind of mid. I've heard it's, like, exceptionally just mid. And I feel like I would be paying full price for a game that I stream, like, once. I don't think that would be a game that I actually finish um, on stream. I don't think. I don't think. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. What the? He played four games of Go and it was information overload, overload. He played four games of Chinese checkers and was bored by the fourth. Yeah, no, Chinese checkers, I've only played casual with family. That That's it. Like, just, just casual. Like, oh, let's do like a couple games tonight because it's raining and the power's out. So let's just play Chinese checkers. That, that type of thing. So I'm not, I'm not saying I'm super into Chinese checkers. I'm just saying I, I like chess. I like checkers. I like, uh, not that they're related, but I, this, this game, the first stream we had, uh, we had Jeff and Barry in here, uh, teaching me the ways of Mahjong. I even like Mahjong to a degree, even though I'm not very good at it. So there, there's, there's a, there's a lot of games I like. I would say my favorite game to play, honestly, because it's like been with me for years and I can play it like easily on my phone uh, is, is, is solitaire, honestly, <laughs> like the game that just comes, that's been coming with our computers, our personal computers since 1995 or whatever, solitaire. Like I, I love solitaire. I love solitaire and I love blackjack. I like, I tend to like card games, games that have to do with like traditional cards, not trading card games, but like traditional card games. Uh, I wish I was better at poker. Oricorn here has a lot to say about po poker. He's really good at poker, but I, I am not a, a poker, a poker lord, a poker god. Mm. Oh, it drops in May. Interesting. The game is like a Kurosawa film. It's so much fun. Uh, who has, who has told me that? I've heard about five different people that I know tell me that that game is mid. So it's not one of those situations where like, oh, one friend told me uh, Ghost of Tsushima is mid. Like, no, multiple people have told me Ghost of Tsushima is mid. <laughs> multiple people I know, like four to five people have told me that. Maybe I'll feel differently. Like, I might still just buy it and try it, but I can't guarantee that if I stream it on this channel, it'll be like a game, a start to finish game, you know? Hmm. All right, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let, let me stagger less. A dashing tackle, sure, beautiful. And let me take some health. A little health boost, yes, I could use a little health boost right now. Hmm, Bellatro is the best card game, yeah. <laughs> the the Bellatro, bro. Oh wait. Oh, I gotta pick up his card, his key. I got Saito's key card. Nice. Now what do I do? Oh, I guess I gotta throw this. I can't take it into the next room. I gotta push a button here. Somewhere. On one of these walls. I'll get to it eventually. Here it is. Use the key card. Actual poker is an anxiety trip. Yeah. When I um when I go to, to Vegas this summer for Evo, I, I'm gonna be playing the hell out of the blackjack tables personally. I'm gonna be playing the hell out of those tables. I love blackjack. If you guys didn't know, uh, I won about seven to eight games of blackjack back to back when I went to a casino visiting Niagara Falls over in uh, Canada. I went in with $20 and walked out with over $200. I, I could have obviously made more if I went all in on that streak, but I didn't trust it. I just kept doing like a modest amount every time. And the 50-50 happened to be in my favor every single time. With a little bit of strategy here and there. So I love blackjack. And there's no stress of like having to win against the table. It's just kind of like, <laughs> it's exclusively you versus the dealer. That's it. That's all you worry about. And there's no such thing as like lying or, or any of that poker face stuff. You just... You just let the cards do as they do as they may. Be as they may. Hmm. Blackjack is cool, but you're always losing in the long run without a team. Hmm. I could see that, yeah. And you can like know as much blackjack theory as you want, but the point is that the house edge is still there. The fact that the dealer goes after you. That is the house edge. So it's a what? It's a 50.5% in the in the house's odds versus a 49 do I have the math right a 49.5% in the 
It's like a 1% house edge. Yeah, exactly. That 1% or 0.5% house edge only comes because they go last. That's it. Yeah. The blackjack theory is cool and it's, it, it's like pretty simple too. It's not, it's not really difficult. <laughs> I guess it can get uh, really complicated if you want to do that. But for me, it like, it works pretty well just having basic theory. The fact that you're more likely than not to get a card that has 10, so always assume that your face down card is a 10 kind of thing. Like just, just simple strategy like that. Hmm. All right, we're busting this guy out. We're escaping with our boy. Oh yeah, we gotta get the grappling hook. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Toughness ZZ, is this a health item? Health a little bit, yes please. Yes please. And did I level up again or no? Oh, I did, yes. Mmm. Regard, yes. Quick stand, yes. Enhanced evasion, yes. Let's do all those. Alright, you're playing versus Kagi. Wish him luck. Wish him luck. Not me luck. Wish him luck. Oh boy. <laughs> no, Kagi's got this. He's washing you. He's 1000% washing you. Guaranteed. <laughs> Oh boy, we got a sniper we gotta deal with, man. Okay, we gotta keep moving. Oh shoot. That's annoying. That is a pain. Oop. That is a pain. Oh! Dude, I was just about to dodge. Here, fight me, fight me behind this, yeah? Fight me behind here. There you go, yeah. I don't want to do any open, open fights. Hanase, get your hands off me. Woo, woo. <laughs> oh, I love seeing that. <laughs> I, I just look up to my my OBS, and you you guys can see the frantic button mash. <laughs> I mean, of course you can. I'm me, right? I'm streaming to you guys live. You can see everything about me. Nothing is hidden. But I just love seeing like this. <laughs> makes me it makes me it makes me chuckle. Doesn't make me giggle. Makes me chuckle. Makes me chuckle. Oi! Dude, this guy's got fucking grenades! Can you stop? Give me this fucking barrel. Whoop! Damn! Come on. The sniper is so annoying. Stamina X. Oi. Oh my god. Does so much damage to this fucking <laughs> this fucking oil barrel. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Hell yeah! This guy's still alive? No, they're all they're all gone. They're all out. Oh! What am I doing? What am I looking at? <gasps> oh, he's out. He's here to help. He's here to help. Ooh! Kuchida. 
Alright. Good. No more nuisance, man. That dude was annoying. Come on. Just throw this at the guy. He'll get back up. Come on. What the? Hurra! What's up, Pog? What's up? <laughs> Pog, did you did you see the video I sent earlier in chat? I wasn't sure. I, I linked the video for you to check out, specifically you. But I wasn't sure if you were like around when that was happening. If you scroll up, the, 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 the last link that was sent in chat, that was specifically for you. And I hope it comes in handy for you and your, uh, your musical endeavors coming up. Courier! Hmm. Charges your- this is, these are all heat things, they're not health things. Damn. I need health pickups. Oh, more- Woo! Five, six, seven, eight of them? What? No way. Nah. Nah. It's eight, guys? Good, good. I'm glad, Pog. I'm glad. <laughs> Whoa, that move is sick. Something about this game, dude. Something about this game. Let me throw this away so I can kick these guys on the ground. Get up. Get up. Something about this game is just so satisfying to play. How about you, buddy? Bucko. Get back up. Get back up. Come on. Yeah. In Tekken terms, that's a that's a wild standing four right there. A wild standing four. God, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> oh wait, I'm going back where we came from. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm curious to those listening, if you if you had your own fighting style, if you actually practiced a martial art, what do you think you would practice? Or if it's a made up martial art, like let's say Lily's from Tekken, like what what fighting game character would you like to uh, model your fight style after if you were a fighter? Because I think personally, I would be a huge Baji Kwan person. You can look it up on Google, but Baji Kwan is basically a very like grounded, like short, impactful type of fighting style where you're like crouched to the ground and like your 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 punches are very like just you have like the strength. You know what you know what Baji Kwan is? If you guys have watched um, the Avatar series, Earthbending uses a lot of Baji Kwan in like the animation that they do for like kicking you know kicking the stone up and then punching it away. That's, that's like Baji Kwan, but obviously without the whole bending part. <laughs> Baji Kwan is a very like earthy fighting style. And I think it looks really sick in motion. I love seeing it on various fighting game characters like Leo in Tekken, or uh, or Julia in Tekken, or Akira in um, in Virtua Fighter, or I don't know who else, who else does like Baji Kwan stuff. Um, Kokoro in Dead or Alive is also Baji Kwan. Very cool fighting style. Oh. 
Whoa! You can hear the pain in his back lifting that up. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Oh, that is the smallest little ledge for it to hang off. But hey, it works, right? Looks like it works. Let me take a take a drink break.俺にとってこの計画はパイ。何言ってんだ、お前。俺はもう何も失敗しとうない。絶対に後悔しとうない。それにあんたは嫌な奴かもしれん。せやけど、俺を裏切らんかった。俺はそれだけで十分。Damn, you really are stuck in the past. That that heartwarming compliment. And he's like, damn, you're really stuck in the past. <laughs> I like the camaraderie here between these two. Even though I that guy that's currently climbing the wall, I hated him in Yakuza 3. He was a piece of shit. But here he's actually pretty cool. Oh boy. Sajima! Sajima! Oh! Yo, nine guards. He's back. Sajima! Hakshura! Sajima! Nice in there! Haku! You get up! Anta! Saki here! Uh huh? Nani Tinda! Bruh. He's gonna buy a bit of time. Wow. <laughs> He's giving his life up for this guy. I love the guitar here. Ooh, gritty, grimy. Heavily processed electric guitar. Gotta love it. Okay. Ooh, gotta fight this asshole again. Yo, can he stop? Come on. There's no fucking way that he gets that off every time, man. He's cheating. He's literally cheating. What the? Who has the gun? Come on, man! I can't even use this gun! I can, I can, I can, I can, okay. Where's this guy? Come at me. Nope. Yeah. 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 Oof. Ah. Give him the glizzy. What else can he do? Nope. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Come on. Wrong guy. Here we go. Ooh. Oh shit. <laughs> He's paying. He's paying me back. Get out! My health ain't looking too good here. <gasps> but there's a healing item! Hello! Toughness? A little health boost, or health quite a bit. Yeah, I need health quite a bit. Thank you. Nice. Okay. And a heat and a heat boost too. Why not? Right. Charges heat slightly. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. 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 Come on. Come on. Aye! This fucking guy is a piece of shit, man. I want him dead. 
I want him dead. 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 Not knocked unconscious. I want this guy dead. Why am I stuck in that whole string? This guy's so frustrating. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh. Dude. He's a cheating piece of shit. This thing is useless against him. <laughs> he hit me from the back. Oh, so satisfying. Ooh, interrupt. Come on. I need to mash like my life depends on it. It's, it's almost impossible to get out of that. I swear to God. Damn. Throwing it at me. What else is here? More sticks? Dude, the sticks are fucking useless. Absolutely useless. there. We're almost there. Come on! That's it. Like, when he just, when he grabs you, like, that's it. Might as well just accept that your health is getting sacrificed. Ain't no way in hell you're breaking that. Ever. Okay. Does it, does it feel like, um, <clears throat> my problem with Yakuza has always been that the boss fights feel like they take 10 years. And they're not like super epico, you know, uh, crazy boss fights either. They're like, just a, just a 1v1 and you're just waiting for them to attack so you can dodge and then counterattack. That, like, that's basically the whole fight. And, and they don't, there's some that feel really cool because of their setting and who you're fighting. But a lot of them, like this one against the, this annoying ass prison guard is just like, bro. I hope that when it turns turn-based in 7 and 8, they change that. Because it's just frustrating. Here, let me- let me go grab this sword. Beat him upside the head. What? Or not? Or it's not even gonna let- it's not even gonna give me the option? Okay, okay, fine. Again. Like he just has such a sliver of health and I gotta I gotta wait for his whole shebang. Finally. You see how long that took, guys? You see how long that took? Just for one fucking prison guard guy. 
<laughs> See, that's what I wanted to do to him. That's what I wanted to do to him. Voice acting. After all this. <clears throat> no way. No way. He's all oh, like he just doesn't have the strength, huh? And then our boy coming in clutch. He didn't swim. He stayed behind. Look at him. Two free men right here. The first two to ever break out of this prison. <clears throat> Is he wearing a bulletproof vest? <laughs> I think that's like a, a <laughs> some sort of sheet. Huh? The second guy who's ever trusted me. Did he? Did someone trust him in Yakuza 3 that I forget? I don't remember. <clears throat> I feel like he's alluding to something that happened in a prior game. Time to head out. さっき所長室で探してたぞ。ああ、いつの日にトークフロムのワーデンズオフィス。いつのレジャーみたいなやつ。ああ、いつの日にトークフロムのワーデンズオフィス。いつのレジャーみたいなやつ。ああ、いつ
Wow. And he's saying, Oh shit! Oh shit! A last hurrah! A heroic act! And he dives right in. Wow. That's amazing that uh, Hamazaki, like, is saying go find Kiryu. When Kiryu was, like, the one that <laughs> he fucked over. Like, he didn't like Kiryu. Kiryu pretty much, like, he, he's in Yakuza 3, he's, he's the one who screwed up all his plans. Screwed him over. He stabbed Kiryu at the end of 3. So, like... Why is he why is he saying to go seek out Kiryu? That's so interesting. Interesting. <gasps> Shiba Inu! <laughs> Haruka. It, it's it's very it's cute to me seeing Haruka like grow uh grow older game after game. You see her from like Yakuza 1 where she's just like a <laughs> she's like what five years old and now she's you know I see in Yakuza 6, like, she has her own kid or something, like, but... It's crazy. The time passage. And now Saejima washed up on shore. Right on Kiryu's shore. Just by happenst happenstance. Is that the word? Happenstance? Please wake up, mister. <gasps> He's opening his eyes. This is Morning Glory Orphanage. We have lots of kids, but this is the first time I've taken in an adult. An orphanage. I'm so glad you're okay, mister. I was worried you were dead when I found you down at the beach. Beach? What beach? <gasps> Picturesque Okinawa beaches. Right, must have washed up here. Are you sure you're okay, mister? I think so. My Uncle Kaz should be back any minute now. He thought you might have been shipwrecked, so he's checking in with the police. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay. The cops? Oh. Whoa. Yo? Whoa. Weird moment. The sweat was crazy. <laughs> the sweat was crazy. And then, and then Kiryu is right here. <laughs> Holy. What if he walked in on that? Hmm. <laughs> Welcome, Sir Kalem. <laughs> Good evening, Sir Kalem. How are you? How are you doing? Hmm. I'd play my music, but we're in the middle of a, a cutscene right now. But if you want, you can go back to the uh, the start of the stream, where I was I was playing the music in the cafe for a little bit there. If you would like to hear the new track that I just showed off today. The track that I've been working with my composer on. Or... Well, it's been a lot of months of waiting. But <laughs> but then, when he was finally able to make the song, you know, we, we were working on it for a month or so. Fortnite! Yeah, Fortnite! Fortnite! <laughs> Fortnite! 
uh, I love how it's 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 just it's it's my own Germacraft meme now where it's just like where's Fortnite Friday Fortnite 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 we like Fortnite <laughs> dude I will I will love to I think I think the next Fortnite stream because it is happening is is gonna be a real good one but I better see everyone there I better see everyone there. Or at least, like, I want, like, at least uh, a, a, a three Q, a trio, you know? At least a trio, maybe. Mm-hmm. And it won't be a new, it won't be a new season. So there's going to be none of those technical problems. It'll be smooth as butter. <laughs> Blue H, my favorite. Hmm. Oh, wow. All the kids are out on a field trip. Oh, I see. I see. Hmm. How do you end up washing on our beach? Is there a reason you don't want to tell me? Dude, see me. See me in my in my 30s or my 40s wearing what Kiryu's got on right now. If I'm on vacation, see me in my 30s or 40s wearing that. Damn. Too good. And again, the like I think I've been inspired recently to try and one day soon invest in an actual watch, you know, like wa watch check, you know. Not a fancy Rolex or nothing, but something that is mechanical. And just looks really clean and shiny on the wrist. I want a piece like that. Especially because when I'm when I'm wearing shirts, I have always felt like something something is missing on me. Something is missing on me whenever I wear t-shirts. And I think just having just having like something, uh, if if I was like married, having a, a a ring or having bling with the watch, or having something on my like hand or wrist would just help balance out the look a little more. Personally speaking. Can't even tell him his name. He's he's top secret right now. Top secret. Your name's Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu. Oh shit! He's like, that's the, that's the guy, that's the guy. Mm. You, ain't, you won't be able to go to a doctor or check in with the police without your ID. True. But he's got to speak up. He's got to speak up. Yeah, I, <laughs> Jerry. I will admit your uh, your little your little fashion stream back there. It got me. It got me thinking. It got me thinking. Like, wow, I really have. Like, it, it got me looking at my wardrobe. I was looking for a solid like fifteen minutes, just kind of staring at my closet, and just realizing like, oh, what's going on in my room? Uh oh, something fell. <laughs> Anyways, it made me like think. That I've really been repping like the same, I don't know, mostly very, very college-y type of clothes since college. And it's been a long time since college. So I'm like, I'm thinking like, I need to, I need to go out and, and change my image. Have like a makeover, you know? I gotta give that a shot. Not necessarily buying like Gucci brand stuff or anything, but I like, I need something that just looks a little more complete. Um, people at work also keep especially especially the girls at work like the older women at work just keep saying like oh you remind me of my son oh my gosh i love you you could be my son and like other people think that i'm other people's son it's like it's it's odd they are they think i'm like i'm just out of college it's like <laughs> i i gotta i gotta look older man i gotta look older i gotta look older So at some point, I'm gonna be taking a taking a second look, and especially next time I go to like a mall or something, 
be diving into more more clothing stores. Not again, not high end stores, but just more clothing stores looking for things that would fit me. We'll see how that turns out. Hmm. Uh, so now Saijima's making up a very thinly veiled lie to QDU to tell him, uh, yeah, it was just a, it's just a shipwreck. It's just a shipwreck. I'm not here for any other reason. Listen, I know it's weird, but you gotta help me. I need to get back to Kamurocho, no matter what. I'm not asking for a hundred grand or nothing. Just enough to get me up to Tokyo. And don't worry, I'll pay you back. Just as soon as I take care of business and scrape some cash together, I swear. Dude, I love the the skybox in this game. Whenever you're like at Kiryu's or uh, orphanage and it's sunset, oh my god, look at the water. Look at the sky. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. So beautiful. Suzuki-san. How long were you in for? Oh, Kiryu jumping right into the, the, the hard-hitting questions. Huh? How many years did you spend in prison? What are you talking about? Listen, I know you weren't out on a boat. I went into town when you were asleep and asked the Coast Guard if there were any accidents last night. It turns out, last night was one of the calmest they have, they've had in months. Not a cloud in sight, and definitely not shipwreck weather. <gasps> Besides, what do you think it costs to get from Tokyo to Okinawa nowadays? I don't know, it couldn't cost more than what, 30 grand? That won't get you anything beyond a plane ticket. What about transportation to the airport? Yeah, Saijima comes from like the 80s. <laughs> he comes from the 80s. He's been in the he's been in the joint for that long, so he has no concept of how expensive things have gotten in 2000 what 10? I think this game takes place in 2008. Do you know how much a taxi ride would cost you? You don't need to pretend you don't know. You've been locked up for years, haven't you? Yeah, Ky Kiryu knows that himself. He was locked up for 10 years. It wasn't a tough conclusion to reach. I mean, look at you. It was because of Haruka. Haruka? Oh. You mean what happened this afternoon? Yeah, you, uh, saw that, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, so Kiryu saw when he was lying atop Haruka and just sweat dripped onto the girl. Oh my god. Those were the eyes of someone who hasn't seen a woman in a long time. Hasn't been a part of everyday society. You know the feeling. The hopelessness you sink into behind bars. How difficult it can be to readjust once you're out. I was in for a long stretch myself. Oh yeah? I spent a decade alone in a, lo in a dark cell. Honestly, I'm lucky it wasn't longer. Lucky? At 10 years? Must have been in for murder. I'm guessing your sentence was longer. Or should I say, is longer. Well? I won't tell you what to do, but here's some advice. You should turn yourself into the police before they catch you themselves. But they might go easy on you if you go peacefully, before the media catches wind of your story. Hmm. What do you think? If that's what you want to do, I'll be glad to lend you a hand. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's having a chuckle. What's so funny? Don't you get it? There ain't no going back for me. They'd execute me on sight. So you're on death row. You call 10 years hard time? Talk to me when you've done 25. Pfft. A quarter of a century. All that matters to me now is getting back to Kamarocho, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure it happens. This ain't about getting a fresh start. Never has been. All I'm hoping to do is find the truth. That, and make those bastards taste the pain I've been dealing with these 25 years. Don't you get it? I gotta avenge my boss, even if it kills me. Revenge, huh? You do. I'm really grateful for all you've done for me. You and the little lady. But I can't stick around. You know too much about me now. So please, just give me some money before this gets ugly. Hmm. Oh boy, they're gonna- they, they about to fight? Kotoer. なんで<笑> 
俺は今まで何度も復讐に巻き込まれてきただが憎しみや恨みって感情だけで復讐を果たしても後に待っているのは悲しい結末だけうんうんうんキリュウあんたがどうしても復讐をするっていうならその訳を教えてくれ事情もわからないのに手助けはできない教えられへん言うたら俺はあんたをここで止める。おお。We'll fight right here in the sand in the beautiful sunset。答えは、ノーか。すまんな。俺はこの目で全てを確かめたいんじゃ。それまでは誰も信用できへん。なるほどな。どうやらあんたは、俺と同じ匂いの男のようやな。俺の兄弟にもよう似とる。俺もあんたと似てる男を知ってる。うん、安心したわ。あんた相手なら間違えて殺す心配はないよや。ああ。こっちもあんたがどこまで本気なのか。確かめさせてもらうぜ。They're walking around in circles for quite a time. <laughs> That was like a at least a 1080 spin around each other. Chatting. Kazuma Kiryu. Oh, haha, <laughs> gotta run over and get the pickup. I see it shining over here. I like shiny collectibles. Oh my god, he's got the speediest dodge. Whoa. Damn, he's got heat already. Oh my. There's no wind up to Kiri. Kiri's moves are just instant. <laughs> There's no wind up. Oh. Damn, he's got a parry. Oh, that reminds me, I have my own moves I can use too. Or like, um. Oh. Hold on, no, not title, not title screen. <laughs> I have ability. Oh my god, I got six points. Enhanced throw. Yes. Strengthens your grip to the max so you can grab even the biggest of enemies. Yes. Wow, we got all of the one orbs. Awesome. Hmm. Okay, okay. Damn. And because we have all the one orbs, we cannot spend any more, even though I have one more point. <laughs> Die! Oh, he's taunting! Oh, he's taunting! Damn, this shit's hard, dude. Oh, he's got me up against the wall! Nice. Oh, what is that? Come on, come on. Ain't no way. Health! Healing! Charges heat, charges health quite a bit. Thank you. That's what I need. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Oh my god, this is. The armor on his charge ups, that's crazy. Come on, how about me? How about me? Why does Kiryu get heat and I don't for taunting? Cheap! And he's just spending all, all day dodging. Nice. 
Okay. Okay, okay. go that worked <laughs> bitch ah this guy is so annoying the fourth chairman of the tojo clan <sighs> and he just he just keeps getting heat up man okay okay It's <laughs> like a fighting game. <laughs> a fighting game would be more fair than this, let's be honest. A fighting game would be a lot more fair than this. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is such bullshit. I'm about to die. Let's see, I'm like, bruh. 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 Are you kidding me? Try again, please. Ah, so annoying. So annoying. How do people like speed run these kind of fights, you know? How do they do it? For me, uh, Yakuza boss fights are always like a slow pain of just like watching them, waiting for them to attack, dodging, then counterattacking. Oh, maybe my ability points have not been spent. Yes! My ability points have not been spent, so I think I can get the... Where is it? Soul? Yeah. Stability, stability. Oh! Fully charge your energy with the Spirit of Golden Dragon. Hold R2 when close to an enemy. Uh, an enemy. Yes. So like a taunting thing. Hold R2 when close to an enemy, then release. Yes! Yes, yes. And the Phoenix Spirit? Sure, why not? So now I should be able to... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now I can charge heat. I'm on your level, Kiryu. I'm on your level. Kind of. I really wish he would uh, take those big hits though. Not gonna lie. Oh, he had time to dodge. So frustrating the side dodges. <laughs> okay, nice counter attack. Okay. He just counterattacks immediately. I don't know how to. I don't know how to beat this guy. I don't know how to beat this guy. I guess jab, jab, like no charge up moves. Those don't work. Those don't work against him. Oh. Motherfucker! Are you kidding me? Temporarily switch to easy difficulty? He's telling me to go easy baby mode? No, 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 no. We could do this. We could do this. <laughs> it's telling me to go easy. Would you like to go easy mode, sir? The nerve. Let me get my abilities back. Phoenix Spirit. Oh. Oh, I see with the tortoise spirit. Interesting. You can hit L1 and gain heat from that. You can block and gain heat. Uh, escape from enemy holds faster. Yeah, sure. Alright, alright. Okay. He just taunts and gets everything, man! Cheap ass. I'm not even playing on hard mode. This is just normal difficulty. 
It said, would you like to switch to easy, bruh? Wait a minute. Can I grab him? Nah. No way Kiryu would let me grab him, right? Yeah, it's impossible to grab him. Mother! Mm. I hate when they just like lock off an entire mechanic of the game because of who you're fighting. <sighs> so annoying. He just parries. He fights back with every single thing I throw at him. My dodges are not as quick as his, so I, when I dodge, like I can't punish him for it. <laughs> and he's already at heat, red heat. Awesome. And he's gonna heat me now? No, 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 no. Okay, he's saving it for he's saving it for when I'm near death. He also counterattacks you, you know. Fucking awesome. He has another follow-up. <gasps> I guess what has to happen is no strong moves. No strong moves. Literally like jab. There you go. Unless unless you're at his backside. Literally just light light jabs. Oh my god. Oh my god. My health, my health, my health, my health. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. It's a cool fight, but like, oh my god, whoa! He just has way too much health for this kind of thing. Like, you're barely able to get a hit in. How do they expect you to fight this? Any taunts? No, this is an L fight. This is an L fight. Just, just, just kill me, bro. Just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. <sighs> this is no good. This is no good. If any Yakuza gamers out there have any strategies they know of to finish to beat this boss, then let me know, man. Because. I'm trying. Like, I think that's all I can get, unless unless I do this. He just taunts in the open and gets all his heat. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. <laughs> He's already a red heat, man. Okay, there goes a quarter of my health. Okay. I get too impatient. Dude, he keeps grabbing me when I hold- when I- he keeps grabbing me. Ah, mother. What is this? How the fuck do you lock this guy down? I keep trying my strategy of like just light attacks. <gasps> oh! <laughs> like, I take so long to roll, I can't even punish him. Ah! Angry! Annoying! I've just sounded like a whiner the past 20 minutes fighting this guy, but it's true, he's annoying! I love Kiryu, but this fight is just a bitch!
He does everything I can. grabbing. Ah! Uh. Do I actually need to switch it to easy difficulty for the sake of stream? Good lord. I think I, I think I will. I think I will. Fuck this. Fuck this. I don't even care anymore. Are you sure? Oh, it double. Oh, it, it tells you twice. Are you sure you want to switch to easy? Are you sure? Are you certain? <sighs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not here to spend a whole entire hour on a boss fight on stream, alright? That's not my style. Fucking Kazuma Kiryu. Piece of shit. Oh my god, he's actually getting hit now. That's crazy. That's nuts. He's actually getting hit now. He's not dodging all over the fucking place. Oh my god, he got knocked down. That's crazy. <laughs> what a difference easy mode makes. It suddenly makes it a fair fucking fight. Oh. Look at his health already. I have it down to half, man. What is up with the, the drastic difference? That's crazy! Okay, he still can't be grabbed at least. That's, that didn't change. <laughs> Look at that! Oh. Ooh. Damn! The ragdoll flop. That is ridiculous. Like the the drastic shift in difficulty from normal to easy. That was like nothing. Why was normal that hard? Oh. The manly fight at sunset. <laughs> oh, shit. Hamazaki, Kiryu remembers Hamazaki. Yes, Joe Bob, things did get weird. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I did see that scene on this very, uh, on this very, in this very room, in that very spot. Yes, I did see that scene. <laughs> that sweat was crazy, bro. That sweat was, that sweat drop <laughs> of going down his cheek onto her chest was crazy. <laughs> And Kiryu saw the whole thing. 
Yeah, I agree. Definitely like the most uncomfortable scene. And the whole series though, still, like even in the later games, it's still the most uncomfortable scene. I thought maybe like they'll outdo themselves eventually. That's crazy. Mm. Okay, got it. It doesn't get more uncomfortable than that for you. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll believe that. I will, I will trust that. I will believe that. Were you, um, I, I wasn't paying too much attention. Were you streaming today, Joe Bob? You're, you're a Wednesday, Friday, Sunday guy. Am I right? Hmm. Yeah, just because he doesn't know the, just because he knows the guy that you're enemies with doesn't automatically make him a bad guy. Amazaki was a bit unhinged the last we met, as in he stabbed me, but a lot can change in a year. <laughs> oh, you just put it all together late because you've been busy and drained. Dude, I think that goes for all of us. <laughs> I think that goes for our little, our, our whole little triangle here. Ah, <sighs> we've all been pretty, pretty drained this uh, last week and, and this week as well. A lot of, lot of moving pieces behind the scenes on my end and your end too. I, I've heard about all your, all your teaching things and all your, all your getting materials together and presenting and oh, goodness gracious, busy for everyone. Oh, and let's not forget your, your power supply, right? Your power supply. <laughs> the mother of all technical problems. Unless, okay, the only thing worse than a power supply is the motherboard. The motherboard would be a genuine pain in the ass. And I know that for a fact because I had a motherboard issue where I had to send it in for repairs. And when the motherboard doesn't post, when the motherboard does not post, you like you need to unplug everything. The mother you gotta take the CPU cooler off, you gotta take the CPU out, you gotta take the RAM sticks out. Every single connection for every single component in your PC, you gotta unplug it and slide in a new motherboard. Oh, the screws. For the screw bases all around, you got to unscrew like nine different screws. It, motherboard is the worst thing to have fail in a PC by far. So I guess be lucky that it was only the power supply. Mm. As long as he's learned some fellow faith in his man, I'd give Hamazaki some help. Despite our power past. Uncle Kaz. How noble of him. Hmm. Yeah, you've seen plenty of us Yakuza folk over the years. Some good, some bad. Where do you think he falls on that spectrum, Haruka? Well, if I had to pick, I don't think he's a bad person. Yeah? But I can't say for sure. That's just the impression I get. Alright then. Good to know. Huh? Are you going somewhere? I have some shopping to do. Right now? Yeah. He'll need a nice meal when he comes to. The doctor said he hasn't been eating very well. After all. Uh... <laughs> What's wrong? Are you worried about being left alone with him? <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just... Relax. He's not going to hurt you. That's not the kind of man he is. Kiryu knows. Kiryu knows. Just by... Just by the... The fist contact between each other, he knows exactly what kind of man he is. <laughs> it's a bond of brothers that no one else knows. The fists speak for themselves. They tell us. They tell their own story. Ah, そうだ、ハルカ。うん。玄関先に置いてあるバッグ。その男の荷物らしい。え、そんなのあったの？さっき海辺で見つけたんだ。
もしそいつが目覚めたら渡しておいてくれうんうん分かったそれじゃバイハルカキリュウとサイジャマは、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、2人は、And he didn't die. Hmm. Soga. Soga. Ah, soda. Soda, soka, soda, soka. Sona. Why does that case look like the, pist the one he grabbed all the pistols out of all those years ago? 25 years ago. <laughs> Soda. <laughs> Soda. Uncle Kaz said to give it to you when you woke up. It's not going to be pistols this time, right? It's going to be. <gasps> the money to travel. How sweet. Oof. Oof. Aww. How sweet. How sweet. How sweet. First time anyone's ever been kind to him in 25 years. That's insane. Listen to the voice acting. You can tell he's like holding, he's holding back tears in the voice acting. You can hear it because of what just happened. Wow. All right. He's got that real urban fit. Listen, to, look at that. The green military jacket and the cargo pants and the boots. He's ready for combat. さえじまや。さえじまたいが。え。さえじま。さえ。キリュウさんにも言うといてくれ。俺はさえじまやったで。うん。絶対にこの音は忘れへん。またいつか必ず会おう。そう。Hmm. Away he goes. To the airport. Oh, and Kiryu seeing him off. Did he now? I didn't see. <laughs> right? I was mentioning that earlier. Like, I want to when I want to look like his <laughs> when it comes to like vacationing in places. I want to look just like that. Hawaiian shirt, nice pants. 
classy brown leather shoes and a nice watch piece, you know? Just look at that. Very, very nice. I feel like I, I have um, like I have a, you know, fine kind of shirt, like a Hawaiian shirt type of thing. But the, the pants and the shoes, I, I don't have the watch. I don't have. So so the look, I, I look, you know, more touristy wearing that shirt. I don't look like I own the place, you know, Kiryu, Kiryu's outfit there has a has a, a feel where like he owns the place because he I mean, he literally does live there, but it gives that vibe. The 25 year vacuum. Okay, I think we'll probably stop here whenever this like cutscene is done. Do you have the confidence? I think so. I honestly think so. I'm someone who can like adjust to whatever outfit I'm wearing pretty well and like fit the look. You know what I mean? That being said, I'm sure there are outfits that do not look good on me. So I, I would have to experiment. I'd have to experiment. That's what dressing rooms are for, yeah? Out of the way, old timer. Wow. His first time back in Kamurocho in 25 years. Saijima's first time back in 25 years. Last time he was in Kamurocho, it was the 1980s. He's getting total, not culture shock, but total like tech, technological shock. Kamurocho's gone down the crapper these last 25 years. <laughs> well, time to track down the boss. Guess I'll start with the old Sasai family HQ in front of the West Park. Find Sasai. Okay. Okay. I can upgrade abilities, but I'll save that for next time. I think I will... I will call it there. I will call it there. I won't even do like a... Like a go back to the cafe to talk for a while in the outro. I think I will just call it there. I got a few things in mind to do tonight. It's been a good two and a half hours. Good yap today. <laughs> Yakuza Zero reference? What's a Yakuza Zero reference? The fact that it was the 80s? That's it? And the fact that they showed that cutscene that they show in Yakuza Zero, which I had no context for prior to playing Yakuza Zero, but now I do. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. But yeah, guys. What else do I have to say tonight? I'm not gonna, I, I have a ha bad habit of like pro uh, prolonging my outros for like five minutes and stuff. Literally just the 80s, you're a visionary. Joe Bob, you are a visionary though. You are a visionary. <laughs> Sometimes your jokes smack like that, like that. They slap just like, just like that. You hear that? They're just like that. Those are your jokes. All right. You are a visionary. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I have a bad habit of, of dragging out my outros. So you're not a violent person. Well, well, I might be. I might be. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just, I'll call it here. You guys have a wonderful night. We'll go right out to the outro. Joe Bob, if you haven't heard the song yet, you'll get to hear the song. I'll play it in the outro here. Mm, the new song that I had commissioned. I'm finally using it on the channel here as of this stream. So let's go. Let's let's head on over and give it a give it another listen. I'll let it run through. Mm -hmm. All right.